I think that the, the biggest main achievement is having Mungano be a, a movement that is, that is real and a part of life. I don't think that you can go to, or you can work, or have an agenda on informal settlements without mentioning Mungano, or without Mungano being a point of reference. So this, the, the identity of Mungano was a huge achievement. And even to government, I mean, even if they were to pretend they don't know Mungano, they really do know Mungano, and it's recorded. I remember when you're doing the housing bill, one of the partners, them had to be on the table is Mungano. And even within professional circles, I think I'm yet to find anybody who can put together a piece without making a reference to the work that Mungano has done or the spirit to which Mungano bears in these communities. There's been, I guess, the achievement at policy level, being able to, to bring in that voice of the people into shaping policy still more opportunities for that voice to change many things within policy, still getting there. There's um, the achievement of um, models that can be replicated, or models that can be used to, to shape how, whether it's upgrading or engagement or advocacy is done. I think they're models that, are, that can and will always be used. So Huruma is always one model that even though Huruma stays as it is, it has its different lessons to everybody. As a, as a professional, you'll go to Huruma and there's something that you will get out of it. As a community member, you'll go to Huruma and something you'll get out of it. As a government official who is wanting to make decisions, you go to Huruma and it's, it, there's something for you. So Huruma is really a, a buffet that everyone will get something from.